So magically AI episode 24, Death by Chocolate. One day, a young man named Leo was at a car boot sale looking for something to buy when he noticed a strange stall he hadn't seen as he came in. It was a stall that sold black market occult items like cursed dolls, vanishing wardrobes, cursed chinaware and glasses, Ouija boards, haunted game cartridges and all kinds of things he was sure shouldn't be sold at a public event like this. The seller approached the table and stood behind it looking at him intently. He was a tall, thin man with skeletal skin, dark black eyes with matching hair, a skull-like nose, and was wearing a long black robe. Can I help you, young man? Are you sure you should be selling your wares at a public sale? I am totally within my rights to sell my wares at this sale. What if someone's child sees you and comes to look curiously at what you're selling? No persons below the age of 18 are allowed to look at my stall. So Leo showed him his identification which was accepted without question. Leo spotted a single chocolate in a glass display case, along with a warning that said, Warning! This chocolate is highly toxic. Do not touch or remove from this case. Is this for real? It is, I'm afraid so. How much do you want for it? It's a thousand. Thousand? You mean like a thousand pounds? Well, I don't mean a thousand dollars, or pesos, or euros. Show me the cash, and it's yours. Without a second thought and no further questions asked, Leo paid the thousand pounds and bought the chocolate in the display case. As he arrived at his friend Ben's house, they sat in the living room, and he showed him the display case containing the chocolate. He was confused. Leo, why did you buy a piece of chocolate in a display case? He asked. I thought it looked cool. It cost me a thousand pounds, replied Leo. Ben laughed. You paid a thousand pounds for just a piece of chocolate contained in a display case? He exclaimed, unable to believe his friend's stupidity. He saw the warning on the display case about the chocolate within being poisonous, but ignored it, making to open the case. Stop, didn't you read the warning? Yeah, it's a joke, mate. Uh, chocolate isn't toxic to humans. Ben removed the chocolate from the case in his bare hands and popped it in his mouth. The moment he did, he started to choke. His skin turned purple and he seized up. Leo leapt into action frantically trying to dislodge the chocolate from Ben's throat, even going as far to perform the Heimlich maneuver, but nothing worked. Leo was so angry with himself and thumped Ben on the back, dislodging the chocolate from his throat but still killing him anyway. The robed skeletal man from the sale appeared in the room. What are you doing here? Leonardo James Deli, you have been branded a fool for buying that chocolate and letting Benjamin Justin Henry Jones eat it, knowing it was poisonous and murdering him. The man scolded in his demonic voice and he claimed Ben's soul. He turned to Leo. For the crime of murder, I am instructed you to... Wait a minute. I tried to stop him from taking the chocolate and tried to help him as soon as he put it in his mouth and it started to take hold. The man checked his records and discovered Leo was telling the truth. But it didn't do any good, as the man claimed his soul before cursing his body to live forever completely devoid of a soul. Let this be a lesson for you, he said in his demonic voice, before vanishing in a large cloud of thick black smoke. There was nothing left but a scythe. A skeletal hand reached through a portal and took it back, 